Welcome to the Daily Fortune, where we talk about the latest topics about finance and investment. But before that, please don't forget to click the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know when we upload a new video. Now let's get started. Elon Musk, the famous billionaire, has made a number of predictions in the past. But the majority of them are related to his electric car firm, Tesla. Now he's on something else, still something major nonetheless. He's making a prediction that has a lot more implications for the entire US economy. To satisfy that curiosity, stay tuned. Also, just a quick reminder, if you like the video, please leave a like and maybe consider subscribing to see more of our content. And you could also ring the notification bell so you get notified whenever we upload a new video. Again, thanks for your time and let's get back to the video. For this video, we'll dive into a more detailed explanation of some unexpected tweets from Elon Musk. These tweets actually show his quite bearish views on the US markets. Yeah, he is a billionaire whose net worth is tied to a stock that is practically sensitive to a recession. But his latest thoughts are surprising. Now let's get to his tweets. The New York Times writer Christopher Mims started it by tweeting that there are over 936 startups worth more than a billion dollars. Elon Musk responded by saying, If history is any guide, not many will make it past the next recession. In addition, Musk is well versed in surviving economic downturns. Tesla, according to Musk, was about a month away from bankruptcy during the 2007 financial crisis. However, it's the next tweet that gets the most attention and is put in the spotlight. A user named Zach asked, when do you think the next recession will hit? And for a billionaire with a lot on the line, he responded in a detailed and shocking way. Elon Musk said, predicting macroeconomics is challenging to say the least, but my gut feeling is maybe around spring or summer of 2022 but no later than 2023. Elon does believe that predicting the economy's long-term future is difficult, but he also says that economic issues are approaching rapidly. Although we know that the Federal Reserve plans to increase interest rates three times this year, there are concerns that these actions may crush demand. Tesla's most recent quarterly result appears to imply good news. They released some impressive numbers that exceeded experts' expectations. Here's the big question here. Why would Elon Musk say such a thing? It's impossible that it's just a mere gut feeling. And it's more than likely an opinion based on other bits of information. In recent public appearances, billionaires all around the world have been relatively bearish. Some, such as Elon Musk, have put their money where their mouth is by cashing out of their stock selling billions of dollars worth of stock they've held for years. But it isn't all bad, just for example. Nancy Pelosi, the world's best stock trader, believes otherwise. According to her most recent declaration, she has a slew of in-the-money option calls for businesses including Disney, Google, and Salesforce, a position that suggests at least the tech industry will have a good year. For me, these statements are incredibly confrontational, especially coming from a famous congresswoman who shouldn't be trading derivatives in the first place. With her connections and insider knowledge, one has to wonder how it's possible that the world's most renowned billionaire predicts a recession while one of the country's most powerful politicians predicts a boom. One used his words while the other used their actions. This narrative doesn't end there. As a slew of other billionaires have come forward to express deep concerns about the economy's future. Ray Dalio, an American investor, recently appeared on Lex Freeman's podcast where he discussed the fall of civilizations and shared some alarming statistics about the United States. In recent years, Ray has been very constant in hinting that the United States is on the verge of a huge economic and social disaster. On the other hand, China, according to him, challenges the United States on every level. This belief is shared by a number of billionaires, including Warren Buffett's right-hand man, Charlie Munger. In this 2020 interview, he openly expresses his enthusiasm for what he refers to as the Chinese economic miracle. The other thing that's really remarkable, usually the last 30 years of China, they have had real economic growth at a rate for 30 years that no big country has ever had before in the history of the world. And who did that? A bunch of communist Chinese. Now that is really remarkable. So, if you're going to study finance, you got a lot of strange things to account for. So, Bob Brizentau, who has a PhD in 1979, 
from their national hearing asked, so how would you rate investing in China with the current political tensions? Or you invested in China through the ownership of American companies that do business in China? Well, I'm, I, of course I'm invested partly in American companies that do business in China, including Coca-Cola. And of course, it, I've had very successful experience there. And I think it's likely to continue. China, the Chinese story is the damnedest thing that it's the damnedest thing that ever happened to a big country in terms of economics. No other big country ever got ahead of the size for that long. As a result, many of these elites, like Elon Musk, suggest that the United States is on the verge of disaster. Even a simple glance at an S&P 500 chart reveals that the notion that the U.S. is in decline is laughable from a stock market standpoint. We can debate about the true social and economic state of the country, but stocks appear to only move up due to the nature of modern economics. We haven't had an extended period of losses in 15 years. And as much as people love hearing that everything is going to crash and the economy is going to the toilet, most people think that the Federal Reserve is the only thing that can pull this market down. It's been widely reported that the Fed has been considering raising interest rates for some time, and it's based on the iconic dot plot. All signs point to the Fed raising interest rates three times in 2022. However, these will be little increases that have most certainly already been worked into our current market. What everyone is concerned about is the possibility of future rate heights that are big and prolonged. Those would surely have a significant negative impact on the economy, but I have a feeling that when a congresswoman known for her excellent stock returns makes substantial option bets, I have a sense that the chances of a crash in the next year are slim, and that even if one did happen, the Federal Reserve would intervene and save the day, just as they did in March of 2020. When you examine the timing, Elon's tweet regarding an impending recession in 2023 is quite intriguing. If you haven't heard, Elon Musk has sold a record amount of Tesla stock. Whether an insider does something like this, you have to question why. We've all seen moves like the Ackman push, in which you publicly declare that the market is headed down while also securing either a short or big cash position. In this manner, when your stock market crash does occur, you can jump in and buy even more shares at a huge bargain. When it comes to Tesla, I believe even Elon Musk recognizes that it's massively overvalued. He tweeted back in the day that 420 was too high for Tesla, something that, at the time, caused the stock to plummet and made him a social media sensation. Years later, the stock is about 200% higher than it was at the time. On January 3rd, the stock soared 13% in one day for producing what Toyota does in a month. An absurd assessment that is difficult to quantify using classic stock analysis techniques. It's difficult to predict the future of markets, if not impossible. But it's even more difficult to be bearish when you see a chart like this and a disclosure indicating how a congresswoman is buying derivatives that have repeatedly printed money for her and her husband. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something from today's video. And to get updated with the next videos, don't forget to hit the notification bell. See you next time.